understand what you think you understand. You understand how these sorts of things play out. But in Salisbury in particular, the implications started quite small and just grew and grew and grew. So what we found was it became very clear quite shortly afterwards in terms of the remediation program that we were looking at that this will be a long-term recovery. We call it a recovery. It was a remediation exercise primarily to start with. The well-being of our population would be affected over the long term. Footfall in the city we'll look at later, but there was a huge impact. 14 sites were cordoned off across South Wiltshire, so that was a huge impact for those 14 businesses. And it also cut off the main economic thoroughfare to the city. So being a rural area, we have a lot of big car parks. Our biggest car park has 1,200 spaces. Those people couldn't get into the city centre. You couldn't park there and walk through, and you couldn't walk past the businesses. So even those that weren't closed suffered an 80% drop in turnover. Then implications about capacity. I mentioned the bees from the east. As a council, we're a large unitary. Um, we cover half a million people. We have around 4,000 staff members. We are definitely scaled up in terms of councils across the country, but even for us, this was a push. And then, of course, the nature of the incident meant that government's priorities were very, very clear and they were also very, very pertinent. It was estimated that um, in excess of uh, 1.4 million was lost in the first couple of weeks um, from the direct closure, but I think in the longer um, aftermath we've probably lost more than 10 million in terms of, um, of profit for our, for our businesses and income. Um, likewise, we noticed that footfall figures um, went down significantly in the immediate aftermath. But being kind of the area that we are, um, we've got the Tate Modern, we've got uh, Shakespeare's Globe, we've obviously Borough Market is a massive, ter um, uh, a massive tourist attraction. We've got uh, the Shards on our doorstep, City Hall, lots of ter uh, lots of uh, tourist attractions. I keep saying terrorist attractions. <laughs> um, target, target. Um, yeah, lots of lots of tourist attractions in the area, which helped us to kind of get back up to um, those, those get those footfall numbers back up quite quickly after we reopened. Um, however, what we did notice for over a year afterwards was that spend was significantly lower at our, our, our retailers and our restaurants and our hospitality industry. Spend was down significantly. 